This video is designed to give you an overview of the ski sled and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is quite often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is accepted that there may be other more appropriate alternatives on some occasions and within slightly different environments to those portrayed. The ski sled has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 160 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled downstairs should be advised by your manual handling advisors. It is advised that a minimum of two people handle the ski sled. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than that of the combined handlers. Each user will have his or her own handling plan and this should be considered before transferring any user using this equipment. When required in an emergency, release the Velcro strap on the outside of the vinyl case and the ski sled will automatically slide out ready for use. The ski sled can be carried to the area where evacuation is required. If possible, secure any doors open in readiness for the escape. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height. To prepare the user for evacuation, remove their pillows and the top covers and place to one side ready for later use. Wrap them in the bottom bed sheet. This will help to keep the user secure during the transfer onto the ski sled and adds a layer of warmth during the evacuation process. Roll them onto their side, ensuring they are fully supported. Carefully place the ski sled with a long black buckle facing the user alongside of them. Gently roll them back onto the ski sled and reposition centrally before placing their feet into the foot pocket. Place the spare pillows across the chest, legs and under the head if enough are available. Working in pairs, fasten the cross straps to secure and cocoon the user on the sled. The two top straps can be fastened diagonally across the user's torso, creating an X. The straps need to be tight but comfortable for the patient. To prevent tripping, ensure the loose strap ends are tucked under the cross straps. Various methods of taking the user off the bed can be used. With a person at each end of the ski sled, take hold of the end straps and move the user to a position where they are lying at approximately 90 degrees across the bed. The person at the head end keeps the straps short and starts to move backwards, allowing the ski sled to touch the floor. The foot end operator allows the straps to move through their hands, controlling the descent of the ski sled onto the floor. Once the ski sled is on the floor, both operators should pull it from the same end. If doors are to be negotiated, the ski sled should be pulled from the head end to avoid doors closing on the user's head. However, it is vital that the user is positioned feet first, ready for the stair descent. With one person at each end of the ski sled, the user can be securely moved down the stairs. It is very important that the person at the foot end keeps the pulling strap short until the upper part of the body has come over the top step. This helps to prevent excessive bending of the user's hip and pelvic area. Once the weight ratio changes, let the foot end come into contact with the stairs. The operator at the head end should keep the pulling strap long and assist by slightly raising the handle as the body moves over the top step. When reaching the half landing, it's important to steer a wide course so you do not encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the cross straps and side handles can be used to position the ski sled. The foot end operator controls the speed of descent. Communication is fundamental to ensure the head end operator does not overbalance in an attempt to keep up. Once the user has exited the building and reached a point of safety, the cross straps can be loosened to ensure the patient is comfortable. 
The ski sled can be wiped over using antibacterial wipes. Ensure that it is dried thoroughly before storing back into its case. If you have any questions or would like to request more information on the ski sled, please contact Spectrum Healthcare.